In this video, we'll explain you the project event management system. So it's a VB.NET project. This project basically for the event management company. The company which will engage to conduct the events like events like a marriage, birthday party or company meetings. So such kind of events is organized by this particular event company. For that company, we are prepared this particular project. This project can be implemented by using any one of these languages. You can write this project using vb.net or you can write in csharp.net or you can write in Java. We can also make an Android app. Even you can do web applications. Maybe you have to use the same concept and then you have to implement the web. But what we shown here is a desktop application and we created this project in a vb.net but you can still try any any other language this project is basically for all computers and students who are doing course in any of these courses so we all know like in a particular semester or in a final year you're supposed to do the project so in order to do a project you need a, some idea some concept some title so when you have a title based on the title you can implement the project so here event management is one such a title here let us see what all we can do how this project looks and what we done but later you can change the way you want it's all possible so watch the video till end and then try to do it yourself from this video what you get you get a software skills so here we talk about vb.net so therefore you'll get some idea about vb.net how it works all domain skills domain particularly for which project for which project it is it is a event management what we can do in the event management so what are the forms how it works what is the result what are the reports we get what is the process what is the main entries so therefore we should know like how the event management company works what they want and how do we do that and how the purpose will be served so therefore there's a domain so therefore apart from the software like now you know the software but you want to do this particular project then you should know like how to do it at least you should have an idea so then you need to mix this idea with the client and then make a final design then you have to complete the project so next is the work experience so if you do the project naturally you'll gain the experience that is what the uh, real-time experience that is what very important because when you have work experience easy for you to get the job so then easy for you to answer the questions because you know like what are the things will happen how it will happen and what are the problem will face therefore when you write a project you know like what are the problems software requirement this is the software requirement for this particular project project forms so here you can see this uh, list of forms here so these are the forms which are using in this particular project I'll explain you in the next slide what each one will do. But if you look at it, uh, the flash screen basically for welcome screen. Here you can have a image or what project it is, the title we can put and we can show. After that, we are showing the login form. Here is the admin login form. We will show the admin login form. Then we'll come to MDA parent. Then module is to store like you know, all the global variable function procedures and rest of the forms to enter the data and some to process it and some are for the report so wherever you say report all are report so some report forms database tables so backend we are using as a sql server so here we created the these tables so we have around 10 tables so main tables event book table event tab event type tab flourish tab food tab login photographer tab venue tab these are the tables which are using in this project how the whole thing works once you run the project you can see that this is the mda form so here is a menu and these tables what i shown i just have a copy of it and here is the forms actually now first time we are going to run the event type so event type so you can see that there is an event type form here this form will be opened in this form you have a text boxes like what is the event type and the corresponding detail once you enter this data it will come and store in the event type so here is a event type table so this will come to this table so this is the back end this is sql tables the data entered here will come to the event type tab next is a customer when i click the customer the customer form will be opened so here is the customer form so here we can enter all the customer details uh, what is the customer code name address mobile number all these details 
this will come to the customer table so here is a customer table the data will, uh, stored in the customer table next is the venue details venue photographer food florist so these are the common things we required in order to conduct the event and we want to uh, take help from them so therefore we need to enter all the known places like now in the case of venue so we can list out all the venues and what is the price for them so therefore based on client request we can book the particular venue photographer so we can have a different package uh, photography packages whatever they want according to that we book the corresponding photographer food what is the food want actually so therefore there is a cafeteria people so therefore we'll have a list of them so if it's suitable to your client request we can uh, book the corresponding cafeteria people florist uh, the flower people so we can communicate to the flower people because we need all the list of them therefore we can enter the flower detail details and then that will go to the florist therefore these four are the um, master data therefore you sh should have a data that for the moment if i want then i can uh, communicate with them and i can book the things next is the customer event what event what customer wants so that is what we can enter it here that is a customer event so customer event after that booking okay so based on this event you can book the venue we can book the photographer we can book, book the food we can book the florist so then it will show the like total cost what is the total cost right so this is the event book table and here is the event form and this is the booking form and whatever you enter here that will come to this event book table so event book table so this is a book form so this will go to event book table so therefore uh, each form out of the data you enter it will supposed to go to the corresponding table based on that we have a reports so reports i we told already venue list uh, booking list customer list all this will be in the reports so this is how the whole project looks so what we can understand from this is event management basically for the event people so who are conducting the event management for them this project is so here what all we provided we provided basically the customer so this is the event management company so company people like you no know, customers will come and uh, they tell what they want to do so therefore the customer tell the company so i want to conduct a event what event so that event is concerned let's say birthday birthday so when it's a birthday where it can be conducted so therefore we need to have a like you no know, all the things like venues where you can conduct therefore you can give the choice them so these are the venues you can choose this particular venue then you can have a food actually what food you want then photographer you required so there is a photographer then a florist like you no know, flower and all these things so for we can tell them these are the choices are available you can choose all these things if they selected all these things then we can create a event then event booking so based on that particular event you can do the booking of all these things so we can book all this in the event booking then the final bill will be raised so then we know like what is the final amount bill amount so the customer has to pay the bill then this event company so this is the event company will conduct this particular event on the particular day so this is the concepts based on this concept we are built this particular project for more details please log in to iblix.com so this is our website and you can also see there is a blogger here you can also communicate with us using the mail id or whatsapp now i'll show the real project uh, in visual studio so if you not yet subscribe to our channel please subscribe to our channel so click the subscribe button therefore you can able to watch all our videos so whenever you come out with a new videos that will be listed over there so therefore you can see what are the videos will come out and you are interested you can watch the video you can also write to comment you can what do you feel like or you want to ask something you can write it in a comment and then send to us fine fine so let's start visual basic 2019 here you can see that this is the community edition visual basic community 2019 now the project is already opened here so you can see that uh, event management so these are the forms which are using here and here is the table event management table and here are the tables these are the tables right so now let us run the project so this is a welcome screen we can make a different picture also then here is a login form so here you can log in so this is the admin then admin uh, click okay to login first we'll enter the event types what are the events we conduct so marriage is a one such thing 
and you can say birthday so I'll type a birthday right so we connecting marriage birthday and all other functions you need to write down next is the customer so the new customer comes they'll register with us okay so let's say there is one Arun and we'll put with mobile number therefore easy to communicate so this is Arun Kumar then you can enter the address what is the customer address therefore easy to communicate with them then the mobile number so profession what is this customer is is a private employee so new customer created this is the data grid view and you can see that uh, it displaying the customer details here so if you click on the data again data will be displayed in the text box now you can able to modify and you can able to delete the data fine next is a venue what are the venues so we have uh, blue palace okay there is one and this cost you two and a half lakh rupees and this is the communication person you can communicate with them likewise you need to enter all the places which are the places nearby and that particular place photographer there is one photographer now you can add more photographers to the list therefore based on the event you can call the photographers and you can book the photographer food what are the different types of food and what is the cost for it okay south indian meal it is 100 rupees so likewise you can make north indian meal 250 rupees or whatever it is north indian meal so you need to write what all it covers so roti and the other things and all so how much it costs it costs 250 rupees right so next is the florist so there is a florist here um, so generally you can take uh, ravi with this mobile number 12341234 so therefore mobile number is contact name is ravi uh, mobile number is 9012345 fine so so modify this yes it's modified next is the event so the customer will come and tell you what is the event so event is birthday party uh, birthday and uh, the customer code is okay arun okay so therefore birthday arun i'll write as a birthday arun so event type is birthday uh, budget amount so they want to spend around 5 lakh rupees So 5 lakh rupees they want to spend so event details so grand birthday party what all that you need to write down here okay so event date when this event so event is on next 25th so event is created now for this event what are the bookings so here is the event name so birthday arun uh, service venue what is the venue so here you should have a complete list and you can choose the one and the corresponding value so this is uh, 2 lakh rupees you can add then next comes to uh, photography uh, girish so with this we discussed about 12,000 rupees so that we can add so next uh, florist this is Ravi uh, this is on 25,000 rupees so next is the food so you can see that uh, North Indian meal. So you could specify the price here only. Then it will be easier. So then it is for uh, 250 per um, 100 people. So this is 25,000. So like this we can keep and add all the options here. So we can close it now. So based on that there is a reports here. Customer list. So here is a customer list. The next venue list. What are the venues are there? That list will come. And then booking list. So what are the bookings are done that list will come here okay so these are the things we are included here so this is a mini project uh, vb.net mini project therefore we managed to make around 14 forms and all these things will be covered in this particular project so in your writing program maybe you can improve this make it much more attractive add more value calculations that is all possible but you have to try fine so hope this video help you to make a project so thank you for watching thank you very much